Hello, my friends, and welcome to the complete Kotlin developer course. Kotlin is a programming language introduced by JetBrains in 2011, the official designer of the most intelligent Java IDE named IntelliJ IDE. So, we have worked with, uh, with it, with the IDE, IntelliJ IDE, in the Java developer course. This is a strongly statically typed general purpose programming language that runs on JVM, Java Virtual Machine. In 2017, Google announced Kotlin is an official language for Android development. Why Kotlin? Why I should learn Kotlin? Kotlin is an open source programming language that combines object-oriented programming and functional features in, into a unique platform. So Kotlin is getting high popularity among all levels of programmers and uh, it is used for cross-platform mobile application that we are going to use later on uh, like as in Android Studio, Android applica application development, also the cross-platform which is also to be used in iOS and the cross-platform uh, for, the, the, for the desktops and uh, other things the web application development, server-side application, desktop application development, and data science-based applications. It's very, and it is widely used. Coding IDE. The primary tool that you will see in this course is to create Kotlin projects in IntelliJ IDEA from JetBrains. Okay, so IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, and is similar to other IDEs such as Virtual Visual Studio and Xcode, if you have worked with uh, one of these. Um, like a ju just a, a comparison and just an overview how IDE write the code and work with the code. You use an IDE to write code in an editor compiler in the in an editor compile the code into a form that can be uh, run on your computer see output from your program fix issues in the code and much more this is the uh, the work the job of the compiler and IDE. source code a file containing your co uh, programming code the compiler source code goes through the compiler output compiled code with the class extension file name and the virtual machine and electronic gadget execute uh, byte codes. Okay, so this is a quick uh, understanding for uh, Kotlin and its history. Now let's go and install IntelliJ. The first step to install it, the IntelliJ idea, go to jetbrains.com slash idea, okay? And this is the most powerful uh, Java and Kotlin, the also Android uh, IDE in integrated development environment. So these are the specifications and you can scroll down and see what are the features. Okay, we scroll down and let me, there are two versions of IntelliJ. The IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and the Community Edition. You see that these are included. These are included in both of the versions, but these are not included uh, in the uh, in the Community version. It is included only the inside the Ultimate. Ultimate you should pay, and uh, it is limited. But uh, for our uh, version, for our course also you are going to use uh, Java, Kotlin, Groovy, Scala, uh, Android, Maven, Git, Git Debugger, Docker, and we click on download for the community section and edition. Okay, so after downloading, we will start download. So after completing the steps of installing IntelliJ, and follow the installation instruction on the IntelliJ side. Uh, please don't run the IntelliJ ID. So this is the IntelliJ idea, and you don't need uh, you don't run it for the first time, because we are going to install something called JDK. So Kotlin allows you to program to several different platforms. The two most prominent 
platform are Java, Virtual Machine, or JDM, and Android. And instead of compiling to native Java um, and ma machine code on each platform, Java programs are compiled into a format called bytecode. And this is uh, the, uh, is called and achieved by the virtual machine. And the virtual machine uh, is included in the JDK. So the easiest way, easiest way to get the JDK from the platform is to visit the Oracle site and uh, slash technologies slash Java SE downloads. Or you can put simply on Google download JDK. Okay, you get this and click on JDK download. Okay. You wait uh, till appearing the download page and you select your operating system specific uh, package. Okay. I will install this because it is x64 I have reviewed and download JDK. Okay. It's about 150 megabytes. Click start. And go the installation process of JV, uh, JDK. And after finishing installing JV, uh, JDK, you will run the IntelliJ ID and you will get this screen. So our main purpose is to create a hello world. Um, so once you have installed IntelliJ IDEA and the JDK, follow the normal process of starting the IntelliJ by clicking on it and go ahead and choose create new project. And a new screen will be appearing here. One thing uh, that you need to specify is a project SDK. You can put if you have uh, the latest version of Java, please always select the, uh, the latest version of the Java. And uh, before, since we have installed the Java JDK, so you can specify the program files Java slash JDK. You just ensure that you just ensure that you have the latest version of JDK and install uh, and select the path that your JDK is, have been installed. For now, I am not going to create Java. I'm going to create Kotlin. So here we go. We have many, uh, many types of Kotlin uh, files that we can create. And we can start by JVM ID. Okay, so create create next, click next. The project name, you need to specify the project name. Uh, hello, Kotlin. I will create the name. And here is the project location. I will put it on the desktop. The project SDK, as I told you, if you don't, un uh, if you don't download, uh, and if you had done, not downloaded the JDK, please click on download JDK and it will parse the latest uh, JDK. Okay, it's very simple. Or you can specify the JDK from here. Okay, use library and click on finish. Okay, it's very simple. And here we go. It's configuring Kotlin and wait for the progress to be installed. Okay, and here it is a configuration uh, notice. And if we click on the file, it is similar to that that we have seen in the uh, Java course. So if you want to learn more about uh, IntelliJ, please go back to our uh, to our uh, course, Java course, or you can follow us here for the basic uh, Kotlin and basic IntelliJ uh, structures. For the first thing, we have the project panel. This is the project panel. I can select the project packages, uh, scratches, open file, but we will always use package of the project. And we see here the hierarchy of the 
uh, files, the external libraries, and thing. But we are going to mainly work with SRC folder. It is in blue. Okay. This is the project panel. You can click on this and you can hide it and show it. This is the toolbar that we are going also to be used and uh, to run a uh, debug and uh, get uh, the configuration. And here is the editor. This is the editor, okay? I will create the first Kotlin uh, program by creating the file. I will name it as hello. Click, okay? And you see, guys, it is .kt, which is .kotlin, okay? Um, always update the plugins to the latest version after this video i will update them but till now i have this file called hello.kt.kotlin and i will i need to create don't don't uh, be frustrated just follow me and you will uh, you will be professional in uh, kotlin so arrays of a string we are going to go deep in every single um, thing and every single notice and concept in Kotlin. Don't worry. Hello, Master Coding Family. Okay, you see, guys, we have created this function. In, inside the hello.kt file and there is a, a green uh, flash and that it is indicating uh, triangle run hello kt I click run and you see the console will be appeared here telling us hello master coding family so this congratulations you have make it uh, you've now created your first kotlin project and your you run your first kotlin program so so this is the first kotlin uh, program that we are going to start our journey with our kotlin programming career thank you guys if you are uh, excited to learn more about Please write, uh, rate us five stars on Udemy and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Master Coding. Thank you, guys.